Begin with a house fire in Sacramento County, leaving one person dead and another behind bars. The fire happened near Faberge Way and Roseburg Court. CBS 13's Shante Passmore is live for us nearby talking with neighbors. Shante. Yeah, guys, this is a neighborhood where neighbors know their neighbors. In fact, one person tells me they were involved in getting the two people out of this home right here behind me. And this despite rushing in and, and having to deal with thick smoke. Overnight, of course, this was a much different scene as crews were met with heavy fire and smoke. SAC Metro Fire says four people were inside at the time. Now, two people managed to escape while firefighters rescued someone. It says crews took two people to a hospital. However, the department reports the fourth victim died from their injuries. One of the people living inside confirms to us this is a house where different people rent rooms. And here he is reacting to the turn of events. I didn't know he was in there. Maybe I don't know if Tyrone knew he was in there. I didn't know. I thought Terry was out already. So I don't know. Surprised when they said that he had passed away. My That's heart good. goes out to him and his family and stuff. And this, this, it's, it's, it's tragic. It's, it's, it's very tragic. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry that he passed away. And you can hear the shock in his voice right there. Right now, it's not clear what led to the fire. Again, Tyrone Gregory is booked for voluntary manslaughter with a $100,000 bail. The 61-year-old is expected to make his first court appearance on December 20th. And back out here live again, several neighbors I spoke to say they were taken aback to learn one of the tenants is in jail right now. Coming up at 10, what else we're learning about the suspect?